Hi, it's Patrick with U38. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the base shift function in MLID flow. For the base shift function to work correctly, we will need to have a known point or an established monument in or near our work area that we can reach with our rover. So I'm going to create our project in Flow360, then import our known coordinate, which we've established using Opus. In the field, we'll set up our base in a clear area and let it average out a single solution. Just to give a visual before and after, I'm going to select the stakeout on our known point and locate the actual point on the ground. Roughly over my point, you can see I'm shifted more than four feet horizontally and three feet vertically. I'm going to level my rod, then measure this point. With that point recorded, I will slide up the project window from the bottom then select base shift. In the base shift screen, I will select the point I shot for the measure point, then select the known point we started with. You should then see the calculated shift and apply it. Now since the base shift is applied, you can see I haven't moved the rover, but now I've been shifted to the correct coordinates. You will also see in the project selection screen of MLID Flow that the base shift is active. You're good to go from here. Our coordinates will now have a high degree of accuracy moving forward. If we come back to this site later, we will just need to remove our base shift and reapply it in the same way we did here. This has been Patrick with the E38 Survey Solutions. Thanks for watching.